Hello, Saxon564 here with another IRC scripting tutorial. So it's been a couple weeks since the last one, and in the last one we modified the calculator script to do a few more things, such as right here, um, oh, requesting specific things to be done. So. But in this episode, we are going to be going over aliases. Now an alias is a section of code in which you can call at any point in time and it doesn't change. The only thing that would change is the variables. So for this text, we'll call, we'll say message chan. We are going, sorry about that, going to an alias. And then we'll do A-L-I-T-U-T. -T. And then down here, we add a section of code A-L-I-A-S with the name, and then the name A-L-I-T-U-T. -T opening it, closing it, and then message chan, this is the alias. So, now let's run this the way it is. Sorry about that, in another room. Um, test. Oh, something's wrong there. Um. Okay, so right there. So it says we are going to an alias, and this is the alias. Now, if we wanted to direct it to, say, the person who activated the command, And, all right, that worked. Um, I've had problems where it wouldn't, it, I'd have to send the nick to the alias. And that's, to do that, you simply, up here where you give what alias you're going to, you just add, like, nick. Add that, it sends it as, it sends whatever that is as that. So that, so an alias is pretty simple, and then you can do anything inside of an alias that you can do in, in here, including call another alias, which if you, it can cause a problem if you call an alias inside of an alias, but in the alias you call, you call the original alias that you were using. So that could cause an infinite loop, so you need to be careful with that. And uh, this tab up here, aliases, that has nothing to do with this kind of alias. Um, one other thing you can do with an alias is we'll do new alias A-L-I-T-U-T-2. -T and we'll do message ch chan this alias is in a different file and then we'll close that so you can put an alias in another file but still call it like normal so if we put that to that and we do test, we are going to an alias, and this alias is in a different file. So that's, aliases are pretty, pretty simple. Um, I could have gone over them earlier, but they're, I want to say, more advanced than just put, putting code together, because they, they're a bit harder to call. Um, I mean, it, this seems simple, but when you've got a bunch of aliases doing different things, you 
you're trying to remember what one does what, so it becomes a bit harder to call. Um, if you're doing a large script with a bunch of aliases, then I'd just make a file titled alias.mrc and keep all your aliases in there so it's easy to find them. But, yeah, that will be it for today. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how to make your first functional game. Um, I'm prob I think what I'm going to do is I'll do a Russian roulette script, and uh, that video is probably going to be quite a bit longer, but will be very. It's going to be very fun to do. And so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.